What's up YouTube, Playmat here, and today, as promised, I'm bringing you my Shadol Lightsworn deck profile. So we're going to go straight into it with my boss monster, Judgment Dragon, and I'm playing three copies. I'm playing a lot of Lightsworns, I think I can really justify playing all three. I think the concept of a boss monster is something that's lost in the, at the moment in the game, and there isn't much in the way of the boss monster, and you know, the whole deck is geared around getting that boss monster on the field. Um, in order to win the game, you know, it's a win condition in itself, so I'm definitely happy and going to keep all three in um, for the foreseeable future with this deck. Um, I will be trying other things and other builds, but yeah, for now, um, this is the build. This is my build. This is the build I've been using on Dueling Network. This is the build I'm going to be using in real life. Um, so yeah, three Judgment Dragon. Uh, we then have uh, one Wolf for the Light Swans. Um, Wolf is really good with uh, Shadol Fusion because you can send it to the graveyard from deck and it'll get its effect um, from being sent to the graveyard when your opponent has a monster uh, summoned from the extra deck. Um, so you'll be able to summon this and your construct, um, which is really cool. So if you send this with an Escomati, you just get so much plus. Um, one Felice. Uh, Felice, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's another name to Wolf. It's it's got a complete it's got a different function that's a tuner and it, and you can use it with Lumina to pop stuff. Um, so yeah, really like Felice. Uh, two Raiden. Um, I don't think I needed all. Th I don't think I need three. Um, I think with light ones in general, you never need three because um, you know you want one to be in the grave, one to be used, and you know if you mill both, it's not the end of the world. You've got Lumina, um, you know, and charge the light brigade and stuff like that. So. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan is important. He makes a you know really good tuner for the synchros, and mills four and mills two during my own turn. It, it is good, but I wouldn't play it at three. Uh, one Raikou. Um, obviously, you've got Squamartas in deck. You've got Dragons in deck, um, but it's another name, and I do like that. Um, you know, people don't expect Raikou. Um, so yeah, and it and it pops um, it pops spells and traps as well. So I can you know that, I can set it. And when they're going to expect it to be a Squamata or whatever, whatever and then, um, yeah. Uh, Aaron, Aaron's really good. Like, I've, I've, I was really surprised at how good Aaron is. Um, and just, you know, things like people setting Skarm or ending with a face-up Skarm face-up, and I'm just like, okay, attack. <laughs> and uh, and Dante, you know, it's, it's, it's such a good card. Um, I don't think I play two because it's not good in every situation, but when you can search it and... Use Luminous to get it back and attack. Um, yeah, I really like it. Uh, one Jane. Again, I don't think it's that relevant. I don't think it's that important for the deck. It's not a boss monster. It's not a, you know, it's not even that good of a beat stick. It goes up to two wandering um, my attacks only onto their and only onto their monsters. Um, it only mills two. So yeah, I, I prefer Raiden, um, but it's still a you know good card. Two Lila. Um, this is my only spell and trap destruction really. Um, apart from obviously dragons and Raikou. Um so yeah, I'm not playing any any MST, but I do like two Lila. Uh, just playing two Lumina. Um, I don't think that I have room for a third one. Like I'm already pushing it with so many cards in deck. I am playing a 45 card deck. Um, I think that 45 is completely fine with the amount that this deck draws and mills. Um, you know, you don't want to mill out, and you do want to play all the monsters that are in this deck. And with the ratio of monsters that are in this deck, you're just way more likely to mill the monsters you want to mill than you are to mill the spell and traps that you don't want to mill. Um, but obviously, yeah, it's a really good card. So that's all it for the Light Swans. <coughs> uh, going on to the Shadows, I play three Beast. Um, Beast is good. Um, I wouldn't play less than three in this in this version. Uh, I'm, I'm actually playing three Squamata. So with them um, Squamata, I think that it really helps with the controlled milling in this deck. It helps you be in control. Like, I'm not playing Mathematician because I just think that Mathematician's so dead if you mill it and it's not great if you draw it, you know. There are much better things in this deck to normal summon. Um, loads of the lights ones are really good to normal summon. And yeah, no, I, I really just think that having three Skamata in deck and milling so much, you're just always gonna mill exactly what you want. Um, you know, first turn, normal summon, Mill four, and you know, because with a Raiden or whatever, or three with a um, Lila, and hit hit into any of the Shadows or any of the 
white swans, uh, or this, and then this can set, obviously send anything else from the deck that you want to send. Um, and late game, it's really good at sending the core, or you know, I just really like it in general. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really good card, and, I'm, and I, I definitely think in a mill heavy deck that it helps you choose. You know, if you've already milled, say, a dragon, or you've already milled a beast, or you've already milled a falcon, you don't want to be milling another one. Um, you know, this can control and, and decide which um, Shadol you're going to be milling that you haven't used yet that turn. So yeah, no, I really, really like this card at three in this deck. Um, two dragon. Um, yeah, I do like it. I wouldn't play it at three because it's really bad to draw uh, in this particular build of this deck. Um, you know, it's okay to have as a 1900 beat stick, but most of the time you just want to mill it and... Um, you know, send it to Grave for Shadow Fusions and El Shadow Fusions and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I wouldn't play three. You've got enough, like, Lila and stuff like that. Uh, two uh, Shadow Hedgehog. Um, I think it's the same again with the Skumart thing. Like, it just helps you add any Shadow that you could possibly want to draw to hand as well. Um, and in this deck, like, when you're milling, it's, it's all about being able to plus um, off your mills and, like, in this deck, I love being able to just normal summon and and then mill two things that are good to mill, like a beast and a you know Skumata or Falco or a Hedgehog, and it's just really good because I can then search anything to hand and end up like plus two. So I've got seven seven cards, six in hand or whatever, and you know even if yeah, I just I just really think that Hedgehog's Hedgehog at two is really good in this version of the deck. Uh, and then two Falco. Um, I was playing one for a long time, and I was playing 44, and then I decided to put the second one in as my 45th because there were some games that I was like, well, if I had a Falco, I would have, I would have won that game. Um, but I just didn't have one on the hedge Hedgehog search. So I think you have to play all the Shadows because you need to keep having, you need to have all the targets for Hedgehog, you need to have all the targets for um, Squamar to, to be sending as well. So, yeah. And then the MVP monster of the deck is Denko Seka. Um, I'm only playing two because I think three is bad. Um, it is dead in hand sometimes. You have got other normal, normal summons to do. But if this isn't in your hand, and yeah, oh my god, like Denko Seka is just such an OTK maker. So yeah, absolutely amazing card. I can go off and I can kill back crows with dragon um, and just not worry about them being chained. I can special summon as much as I like with Shadow Fusion, El Shadow Fusion, Judgment Dragon, whatever. Like, it's just, it, 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 it just, yeah, I can't express how good this card is and how many times I win the game because I've got this. And, like, game two, um, I do side, I, I'm not going to show you my side deck this time um, just because I'm playing it on Saturday and it's specifically built for my um, locals on Saturday. But, yeah, this and, like, Vanity's Fiend, or Majesty's Fiend is absolutely insane. So yeah, Denko Seko, MVP of the deck. Okay, so for the spells we have uh, two Shadow Fusion. Um, I think two is good. Um, I think that obviously people always try not to use the extra deck against Shadows, and that El Shadow Fusion just completely outclasses it. And that you you know you can use it in their own turn. You can chain it to Tour Guide to make a Winder, and then you've just got a Winder on board, and they can't do anything. Um, yeah, no, I, I think sh I think Shadow El Shadow Fusion is just better, and I wouldn't play um, three and three. Um, so yeah, just two Shadow Fusion, three El Shadow Fusion for all the reasons I've said before. The other thing in this deck is that it's really good because you can you set this, you mill, you don't have to worry about having used all your Shadow effects this turn already because um, you know you haven't you've not used anything yet. You mill say you know three six nine whatever. And you get to resolve all of your shadows plus all off, off them all. Use hedgehogs and squamatas and whatever to add stuff to your hand. You know, hedgehogs to add stuff to your hand that you're then going to want to use next turn um, for your Elshadol fusion. So during and then during their turn, Elshadol fusion. It's like it's it's just so good. Um, you know, that's kind of how I, how I play the deck is is hope for the best with my mills and then Elshadol fusion in their turn, <laughs> like um, because obviously I'm not going to use very many. Uh, Shadow effects during their turn in general. So yeah, three of those. Uh, then we've got Charge Light Brigade and three Solar Recharge. Um, we're playing loads of Light Swans. I'm playing whilst one Soul Charge as well. Um, Soul Charge is Soul Charge. It's really good in this deck. I like it turn one because you can just kind of, um, you know, melt to Raiden. 
if you mill a light swan or if you've got solar recharge um, or charge light brigade or whatever um, then you can have a few light swans in your graveyard activate this end phase mill nine and then it's like loads of um, you know you're, you're going to resolve loads of effects and have a really big hand and field and yeah I think it's I think it's it's good for that but I do set out a lot then for the traps we just have one shadow core uh, obviously shadow core is really good in this version because when you mill it uh, which you do very very often um, you can just like add back a shadow fusion that you've milled or an L shadow fusion that you milled um, yeah and then keep adding this back with the um, the windows and constructs that died so yeah uh, just the one core I wouldn't play tiered I think uh, two breakthrough skill obviously it's completely fine if you mill it because you can still use the uh, effect during uh, your own turn um, so yeah it's a, it's one of the best traps uh, because obviously it's fine when it's milled as well as the uh, shadow core and then three shadow games I side these out or I side one or two of these out quite often um, <clears throat> just because I need to bring in other stuff and, I'd, and I want to side out as little of the main deck as I can, like monster wise. Because, but yeah, Shadow Games um, is Shadow Games. It's, and I'm just going to go through the extra deck as well. So I play two Winder. I would probably play a third um, just because of how much, like, just because of Elshadar Fusion. Um, you know, it's good when this gets breakthrough skilled to then Elshadar Fusion during their turn to just to make another Winder and then add back your Elshadar Fusion or your Core or your. Um, Shadow Fusion, um, and then they're like, oh, <laughs> I lose now, and it's like, yep, yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> um, so sometimes you do go through them quite early, especially in the Burning Abyss matchup, because you really want to have this on the field, and they really want you not to have it on the field. Three Construct, because this deck needs to play three, it makes th it makes three almost every game. Um, yeah. And then I play one Michael, I was playing two, but never made two in a game, so... Yeah, just the one Michael. Um, obviously, Light Swans make it really easily. Really good card. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's nuts. Um, Crimson Blader. Crimson Blader is really good. Um, yeah. Uh, one I made these. And then we have Star Eater. Um, I, I was actually surprised how much I make this. It's really easy to make. So, yeah, I make this and I make uh, Leo, like, really often. Just because it's like 3 3 4 or 3 3 4 4. And then I'm playing one Black Crows and one Alkalite Magician. In this deck, it's not you're not going to make it that often because if you've got two level fours in the field, you've probably got way more, um, you know, other better options. Um, but I do make it sometimes. Um, Exciting night. Um, again, this could come out. I'd make it sometimes. Um, I probably make Castell more actually. So yeah, I'm not sure which one I'd I'd rather take out. And finally, uh, Volksaurus. Volksaurus was actually in because I didn't have all of my cards that I had on uh, DN. Um, and then I put it into my deck on DN as well, because it's absolutely insane. Um, yeah, Volksaurus is far too good, and even in this version, um, you know, it's just so easy to make. And it can shut off your, it shuts off your own window. And in this deck, that's really important, that you can shut off your own window um, when you want to. So, like, you know, flip your beast, overlay, um, make this. Like, having two Hedgehog and having the Beast and milling them all means that you're always going to be able to add stuff with Hedgehog and then use Beast's effect to um, discard whatever Shadol you want. Um, so, yeah. So, th thank you guys for watching. This has been my uh, Light Swan and Shadol deck profile. Um, I'll keep tinkering with the deck. For now, there's things like BLS that I wouldn't put in the deck because um, I think you've already got 3JD. Uh, you don't need any more monsters that are... Mon boss monsters that are dead in the hand uh, turn one um, I think Judgment Dragon's just too good to take out for a BLS but yeah I really haven't died to things like uh, Vanity's Emptiness very much um, the only thing I really need MST against is uh, Skill Drain in Clifford but I think that I side really well for Clifford and that I don't really need to have main deck MSTs because I've got so much like Judgment Dragon is so good against Clifford um, you know you can send the dragons to pop the Skill Drains anyway and yeah, once you kind of once you've got that skill drain out of the way, then dragon just blows the whole field and they can't do anything. Or you've got game anyway because you've got a judgment dragon, and then you know you probably can then go shadow fusion, elf shadow fusion, whatever attack for game. Um, so yeah, the amount of times that I just end the duel by attacking with judgment dragon is is like a lot. <laughs> so yeah, hope you enjoyed this deck profile. Till next time, guys. Play matter. Signing out.